Well, this is the first time I've presented on this particular subject about music and the brain and music and the mind, neuroscience. Uh, and it, it was a joy to create and a joy to kind of contemplate about the, you know, and share the things that have interested me as I've researched this and gone on this journey of trying to understand what's going on. You know, it's a work in progress, but my, my basic instinct is to kind of it, use my platform as a performer to get the word out about this. And I think, I, you know, I hope, I hope people were enthusiastic. I hope they enjoyed it. I would say the arts in general as part of education are really important. They frame our history in a, in a, in a very meaningful way. Um, for instance, when, you know, it depends on what kind of learner you are, but when I was in school, I remembered everything that came through an artistic lens far more than um, just flat material. I think it's the human side, actually. It's the, the emotional side. It's, it's the fact that Artists traditionally have worked as muses. Um, they have informed, you know, government. They've informed history. They've informed um, really how we should live our lives. And you know, if you go back, I mean, I've, I've sung pieces that are 300 years old. And you know, my first instinct is to say, my gosh, things haven't changed very much. But that's interest. That's important to know. And what did they have to say about these same issues 300 years ago? In places where public television is very strong, of course, you have all this music, I mean, it's part of the culture. I mean, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir is so, it's such an institution, and I've been really fortunate to sing twice with them. Uh, so uh, I love coming here because it's an audience of singers, no question.